Over 40% of college students have used AI tools like ChatGPT to aid in their education, according to a recent survey. The benefits and drawbacks of these groundbreaking tools have sparked debates about its place in the classroom among students, educators, and institutions across the country. But one school in New York has decided to embrace the technology. The Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai is now the first medical school to make OpenAI's educational platform, ChatGBTEDU, available to all of its med and graduate students. Tom Hansen got an exclusive first look at Mount Sinai's new initiative. I like to practice a patient with headache in the outpatient clinic. So if you could pretend to be a patient with headache and come up with your own diagnosis, but don't tell me because I'd like to guess it in the end. Joy Jiang, a fifth year MD PhD student at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, is well versed in the demands of medical school. So what other um, medical conditions do you have? I have asthma, but it's well controlled. The common analogy for learning in medical school with any institution is, is drinking from a fire hydrant. But new artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT EDU from OpenAI are designed to aid in med students' extensive training. Hi, my name Hi. is Joy Jiang. Mount Sinai is the first medical school in the nation to grant access to the platform to all of its MD and graduate students. Has the pain been constant or intermittent since Jiang has used the chatbot to prepare for clinical exams featuring actor patients who simulate real-world medical encounters. ChatGPT is just a great way to establish the baseline for um, what I want to say and, and how I want to approach the patient. That's where prostate artery embolization uh, is. Uh, Fourth-year medical student Ferris Gulamali utilizes GPT-EDU to prep for surgeries and to clearly explain complex diagnoses and treatments to patients. Do you think that using AI shortened down the time it would have taken you had you not had that tool? It really helped at least reframe the explanation. The rollout of GPT-EDU is part of a wider curriculum revamp at Mount Sinai, according to Dean of Education, Dr. David C. Thomas. We know that the, that the students, faculty, that in medicine and medical education that we're going to be using this tool exponentially going forward. And so it's our obligation to really teach students to be uh, prepared for you know, medicine in the 21st century, right, going forward. OpenAI has collaborated with universities and med schools like Mount Sinai to ensure robust safeguards are in place to protect student and patient privacy. GPT-EDU is built to be fully HIPAA compliant. I think in medicine and in health in particular, it's essential that students learn how to use AI and how to use it safely so that when they get into the medical context, they can really unleash its superpowers in a responsible way. Leah Belsky is OpenAI's VP and General Manager of Education. She equates the impact of AI in the 21st century workplace to that of email and internet access in the 1990s. Where does AI fall on the scale of one of these transformative tools that will be integrated. It helps them to learn faster. It helps them to discover new areas of knowledge. It helps them to explore more deeply. And so what we're really focused on is making sure that there is equitable access to AI. Have you had any surgeries in the past? While GBT-EDU is proving its use to students and educators. Uh, she has medial pain. Okay, excellent. Administrators like Dr. Thomas stress it could never supplant humans as the foundation of medical training or practice. Because as incredible as chat GPT is, it can still get things wrong. It still is not able to completely, you know, sort of get the information that you need. And we want to make sure that the human person is there to work with a patient who is at the center point of being what being a physician is. For CBS Saturday Morning, Tom Hansen, New York. Really interesting, as long as it's not, students don't become so reliant Mm. On the AI, you still need that empathetic side and the, Im exactly. the immediacy of reacting to a patient. That's so yeah. important. But, but teaching empathy, I think, should be at the core of what a physician is learning. Right. Um, because I, old school doctors, man, there's nothing better than Beds, those. Bedside manner. Bedside but if manner. it can help with it, everyone will There it, it is.